On aching branch do blossoms grow, the wind a hallowed breath. It carries the scent of honeysuckle, sweet as the lover's kiss. It brings the promise of more tomorrows, of sighs and whispered bliss. You can't be serious. <laughs> as I recall, your list was very specific. And that is the poem you chose? Oh. So the list is more detailed than I thought. Carmenum di Amatus. I thought this one was banned. His lips on mine speak words not voiced, a prayer, which travels down my spine like flames that shatter night. His eyes reflect the heaven stars, the maker's light. My body opens, filled and blessed, my spirit there. Not merely housed in flesh, but brought to life. Shall we read another? <sighs> they will say one of two things about me that I stood at the Inquisitor's side, his protector and his lover, that it was meant to be, or they will say I was led from the path of faith by the wiles of a madman. Is this your idea of pillow talk? If you wanted sweetness and light, you picked the wrong woman. <laughs> Point taken. I've feared you since the moment I laid eyes upon you. I have never known anything like it. I've been with only one other man in my life. A mage, with whom I adventured when I was still very young. He died at the Conclave. I will not let Corypheus win. I will not let him take you from me. You can't control what will happen, Cassandra. Perhaps. But that will not prevent me from trying. 